Eric Hendrick, uh, Pete Keithrick, I believe this is a question for you. Can I walk over there a little bit, please? My name is Gary Hendrick, and I represent over 1,700 people that are local that are concerned about living near this power plant. Santa Clarita Green has been active when we produce these posters and stuff, but um, we didn't start off as anti-nuclear, and we got involved because of the whistleblower issue, and um, that's you know that's where we're coming from. But we have deep concerns, and uh, there's part of Part of my question that I have to ask, I just need to verify that I have it right, because I'm not a nuclear expert, and I'm asking you, Pete, to, it's specifically about the mode of, of starting up a generator and how the different phases it goes through. I can understand there's a mode five is the lowest, that's kind of like it's not even operating, and then load, mode four is more operational, load three, Load two and load one. I'm I'm mostly concerned if I got that right because I'm, my question has more to do with mode three, and I wanted to understand how close is mode three to um, fully operating that plan. I should be more clear in terms of you know, how much uh, heat and pressure and how much radioactive water is flowing through the generator. All right, Pete. You understand that question? Yeah, Gary, I'd be more than willing to follow up with you to talk specifically about the modes. Uh, your mode three question relates to, I'll, I'll answer primarily, is the reactor is still shut down. Uh, so we are not producing producing heat through nuclear fission. Um, but in mode three, we consider the plant to be up or approaching what's considered to be normal operating temperature and pressure. But again, that heat is being generated by either the uh, uh, the heat from pumps that are running or from uh, from other heaters that can be applied to uh, to create heat in the plant. So the reactor is shut down. There is no nuclear fission occurring, and uh, but the plant is able to go up and uh, conduct testing uh, at normal operating pressure. Then. So the reason I was asking that is, um, as I understand, it, the, at mode three, you have the same amount of heat and pressure as when it's running at full capacity, but it's just not uh, with the reactor operating. But it still has radioactive water flowing through the steam generator. And the reason that's important is, uh, again, I was contacted by a whistleblower today, and I haven't been able to verify this is all recent news, but he's working on that process right now at your plan. Again, you're going from four to five, and, and by the 20th of this month, we intend to go from a four to a three. And my concern is, and this is the reason we're here tonight, is because we're afraid a decision is going to be made to start these reactors when it's really not safe. And what's, what I understood, and correct me if I'm wrong, that if you start up the mode three, and you have the same heat and the same pressure, and something goes wrong with those tubes, then radiation could escape into the atmosphere. Is that right? Well, first I'll say that our preparatory action letter that uh, was issued by the Regulatory Commission places a limit on Area 2, and that we cannot take that plant into Mode 2 or start the reactor up until we receive our information. So, as we've said over and over again, we will not operate the plant until both Southern California Edison and the Regulatory Commission have uh, concluded that it's safe to do so. Uh, the restrictions in our confirmatory action letter do, uh, do allow us to conduct some additional testing, not with the reactor critical, but in a normal operating pressure and temperature situation, but not with the introduction rates created by nuclear fission, not with steam rates in the steam generators that require uh, uh, full operation of the steam generators. So uh, the requirements are laid out in the confirmatory action letter. That, le that letter was issued in March of this year, and those are the requirements that we're bound by law to look at. The oh, reactor is running oh. right now. Are you telling us that? Oh, oh, no, the reactors are shut down right now, and they will remain shut down until we receive permission from the NRC to start now. Okay, go ahead, Rick. Gary. I want to say a quick follow-up question to you from Gary. Well, what I understand is under the confirmatory action letter, that is going to start up the reactor number two up to what is the equivalent of normal operation heat and pressure. 
and that would be acceptable to NRC under the current regulation, and we could have a disastrous result from that, and it's still within the regulation, and we never get the adjudicated hearing that we want, and that's what we're really here for. We don't want an accident to happen before this judgment is made by independent experts. Secondly, and I think the, the point that you're making here with the, the difference between mode two for unit two and mode four for unit three, and we thought about that uh, when we formulated that requirement. And the reason uh, that, it, that it exists is unit two uh, steam generator tubes, none of them lost structural integrity. They retained their strength and have retained it to today. And so that was never lost. So there's there no risk, additional risk. Uh, with unit two uh, being at the normal operating pressure. Oh. What we have to do before they start up, though, is consider the dynamic that was reserved on unit three to make sure that that's not going to happen. So that's why we, we formulated the requirements. It's really a technical answer. So I'm trying to understand, uh, with all due respect, I think what you're saying is you're going to allow unit two to be taken to the Mode three operation, which the only difference is it's not critical reactor, but it still has the same heat, same pressure, and the same weakened tubes that we're, we haven't determined, we haven't done the study yet, and you're going to allow them to start unit two at that pressure, and it's at our risk. Okay. Why is that even reasonable? Well, I think, yeah, I, yeah, I'm just, you know, we, we talked, uh, I think the tubes are not weakened in, in unit two. They have full structural integrity. You won't yeah, know. Yeah, I think we just require further discussion to make sure we're talking about the same things. Okay, um, I'm going to ask Pete Dietrich to respond again to this. Pete, Barry, you want to listen up? Go ahead, Pete. Taking unit two, I mean, mode four, mode three, which is a lot of like a four action one does not create any work close any thermal hydraulic conditions in the steam generators that can create fluid lasting scope. The reactor is shut down and remains shut down in modes four and three. There is no heat of nuclear fission that is driving steam generator flow or steam flow in the steam generators. It's a matter of testing. One more time. Hey, Rick, do you have one more? Because I think we have people here. Okay. And as, and as, as Pete said, he can talk to, to Gary about the different modes after the meeting or whatever, but I think we need to, to get this on. He's expecting us to trust his judgment. We want to have independent experts tell us, not him. Right, we, we heard that. We heard that. <laughs>